So JavaScript has turned out to be one of the most famous programming language in recent years and is being listed by all the companies as the top 10 programming languages which you should be learning. But why is JavaScript gaining so much popularity in today's time when it is just a client side scripting language for web development, right? So let's find this out why JavaScript is so popular and why you should be learning JavaScript in today's time. Hey, what's up, Tanmay here. And in this video, we're going to be understanding the most important question that you might have as a beginner. That is why you should be learning JavaScript in today's time. So I have listed down certain applications of JavaScript, which I want to mention so that I don't forget them. So before we actually start off, let me tell you that JavaScript and Java are not the same or there is no similarity between these two programming languages. So as a beginner or as a student, a lot of times many of them confuse that Java and JavaScript might be similar. It's just that the term or the word Java comes in JavaScript and that is why it sounds similar. But let me tell you guys, let's clear this misconception right over here. There is absolutely no similarity between Java and JavaScript. Those are two different programming languages meant to do different things. So now that we've cleared this misconception, let's move on to understanding why JavaScript is so famous in today's time. So initially when JavaScript was invented by Brendan Eich in 1995, it was meant to perform client side scripting to enhance the website's functionality on the client side. So that was the only simple activity or simple task that JavaScript was supposed to do initially when it was developed. However, from that time, JavaScript has diversified a lot. That is in recent years, JavaScript is not just a simple client side scripting language. So what do I mean by diversification or evolving of this programming language? So by this, I mean that JavaScript can now be used on server side for server side programming. It can be used on desktop to create desktop applications. It can be used to make Android applications or iOS applications for smartphones. And this is how JavaScript has totally diversified. So I'm going to give you certain examples of JavaScript where it is used and how it is used. So the first example is for server side programming. So as I mentioned, now JavaScript can also be used on the server side to actually act as a dynamic programming language, just like C sharp or Java or Python or any other general purpose programming language. And the best example is node.js, which is a complete framework, which is used for server side web development to make dynamic web applications. So it's pretty famous. You probably must have heard it. And the underlying programming language is JavaScript itself. So the syntax is a little bit here and there, but then if you know the fundamentals of JavaScript, you definitely can move on to node.js and get into the development of node.js. Similar to Node.js, we have React, which is a front-end library, which was developed by Facebook initially. And now using React.js, which is again, where JavaScript is used, you can create web as well as mobile applications. So writing the same code and you can run it on the web, you can run it on your smartphones and it will perform both activities in one go. You know, you can use React to create web as well as mobile applications. Then we have React Native, which is completely used for mobile applications, which is iOS and Android and other platforms. You definitely must have heard about angular JS, which is another MVC oriented framework. And by MVC, I mean model view and controller, wherein I'm not going to get into a lot of details, but then this is a complete different framework by Google initially developed by Google, but now it's open source and it is used to develop dynamic web applications. So again, a complete framework, which is based just on JavaScript and JavaScript has become so powerful. It can perform all the different dynamic activities, just like any other general purpose programming language. Now, another complete dimension is the software development. That is the desktop based application, wherein you make applications for your system and not for the web. You know, so you're not making web applications. You're making standalone softwares. So here's where again, JavaScript framework is used, which is known as electron JS. It's pretty new and it is used to build cross-platform desktop applications for your standalone systems. So these softwares can be similar or compared to any other system software. For example, your paint software, you have your text editor, you have your music player and so on, you know, something like that. So this electron JS is a complete framework for that, which is again built on top of JavaScript, HTML and CSS. Now the last two examples that I want to give you are pretty amazing. You know, they are definitely one of the most upcoming examples and upcoming domains. So the first one out of the two is react VR. So VR stands for virtual reality and using this entire framework, you can create virtual reality applications, virtual reality experience, and it's highly in demand now, virtual reality, augmented reality, and all those applications related to these domains. And the second application is tensorflow.js. Now tensorflow is again, an open source machine learning platform, machine learning framework by Google, initially developed by Google 
for everyone and now a javascript library that is tensorflow.js can be used for training and deploying machine learning models now in today's time that is 2018 when i'm creating this video machine learning artificial intelligence data science and all these domains have exploded a lot and there are a lot of vacancies and a lot of demand for these kind of developers and in the industry so now javascript has also diversified in machine learning so usually for machine learning what we use is python and r programming but now i can see in future javascript can also be used over there so this was just the tip of the iceberg and very few examples in fact there are so many more examples but they are not that famous but these are some of the famous examples from different different domains so we covered dynamic website development that is server side scripting we also covered the desktop applications stand alone desktop applications we covered the mobile application development frameworks and we also talked about machine learning and virtual reality so in today's time javascript has diversified so much and i can see huge potential in this programming language and that is the reason why it is one of the most famous programming language which is highly in demand you can google it out top 10 programming languages and javascript is definitely going to be there and that is the reason why you should be learning javascript if you are a beginner and if you don't know javascript then this entire playlist as i mentioned is just for you so thanks for watching guys i hope i have answered the question why you should be learning javascript in 2018 and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up turn on the notifications because in the upcoming videos we are going to be starting off with setting up the system with the different softwares that we are going to be needing for programming in javascript and then we'll start off with the actual practical part so thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace